for seven days. The Alexandria Sporting Club has housed 10 of FIBA Africa's best teams. And the two teams that have survived that seven-day marathon will play one more game. A game that made the journey well worth it. Welcome to the inaugural FIBA African Women's Basketball League Championship game. While there's a new team for a well-known tournament in the motherland, a familiar face is set to take center court. That's the home team, the defending champions, the sporting club of Alexandria, Egypt, against a team who will make their first appearance on the podium, Kenya Ports Authority. This is Aaron Sanders. Welcome and thank you for tuning in wherever you may be. Fans around the world are bearing witness as it will take 40 minutes to determine who the queens of FIBA Africa will be. And for both of these clubs, it has been a tale to remember. Starting with the KPA women's basketball team, they ended up with a 3-1 record, placing second in Group A competition. Even though they had an off day on the first day of competition, they took care of business, defeating CNNS, Nigeria Customs, and the University of Douala in their tracks, only losing to one team. And you have to wonder who that team was that they lost to on December 15th by the score of 102 to 77. More on that later. In the quarterfinals, KPA defeated Equity Bank by 15, and in the semifinals, they upsetted Reach Women's BBC by the final score of 74 to 59. And for Sporting, a team destined, and a lot of people thought they would go all the way once again, and they have. A 4-0 record, top of Group A, competition and they were able to take care of business against CNSS the University of Douala have an off day last Wednesday and they, they defeated Nigeria Customs and they were the team that gave Kenya Ports authority their lone loss in group competition by the final score of 102 to 77. They took care of business against Overdose Upstation in the quarterfinals by 50 and they defeated Interclub yesterday, 100-74, to en route to the championship game. The players are being introduced, which means we are moments away from tip-off. Championship game. There's nothing more quite like it. Stay with us. It's the Kenya Ports Authority women's basketball team against the Sporting Club of Alexandria. And all that is heading your way next as you're watching the championship game of the 2023 FIBA African Women's Basketball League. Stay tuned.
Throughout this AWBL tournament, there has been a number of storylines, one for each team. And in this championship game, the storylines can be any sweeter. For the Sporting Club of Alexandria, they are on the hunt to win back-to-back -back championships. They won it under the old name, the African Champions Cup, a year ago. And for KPA women's basketball team, they hope to get their revenge as their sole loss in group play came from this very team, the Sporting Club of Alexandria. We are ready for tip-off. The gold medal game will be underway in just a moment. A number of these games have started out with the tip-off sailing out of bounds. It will go to KPA to get things going. We are officially underway here in Alexandria, Egypt. Natalie in one gale. Gives a ball and she almost had it returned right to her as the ball goes out of bounds. So sporting with their first touch of the ball. Here in this big game in front of a large crowd as they are the home team for this tournament and the defending champions, of course. Ezra Baker. Try to send it down low, but it's taken away by Medina Caught. And they have numbers. Odiango unable to get it. Dillard crossover drive. Sails it over. Destiny Pitts steps back and gets rejected by Victoria Reynolds. They're back on the run. Outside. Big bucket for M1 Gale to get things going in this game. We played a minute here in the opening quarter. Kenya Ports Authority with the lead. Nice screen from Diagni. Outside, three doesn't go. Back the other way we go. In one gale. They're trying to go deep and it's in one gale who misses the three. Get right back out now into Amir, who misses the jumper. And M1 Gale with the rebound. Second in assists per game heading into today, eight and a half a game. M1 Gale guarded by Dillard. Goes for the chest pass on the fake. Reynolds. Reynolds driving with three to shoot. Reynolds moves around, jukes, fires, and hits. 5-0 Kenya Ports Authority over Sporting. What a game. And what a start. Down deep. Diagni. So opens up the lid in scoring for Sporting. It's her first field goal. Who averages 11.3 points per game. It's taken away by Dillard. Double pump off the mark, but she gets contact on the back of her head. So Sierra Dillard off to the line to shoot two. Number 10 in free throw percentage at 75.9%. And she gets the first one to drop. Along with that, she's third in assists per game with eight. And she gets both of them to go. She averages 12 points and 4.3 rebounds per game. And she gets her first two points here in this big game as Oniango goes all the way. KPA is not wasting any time to getting the ball to the other end of the floor. Dillard. Gets swallowed up again. Apologies for not giving the ambient noise to the game. We're fixing that as soon as we can. So Dillard gets her third point. And this is going to be a tough game 
for both of these clubs as Dillard goes two for two, four quick points for Dillard. Seven to six, KPA ahead. Ball taken away. Baker on the move. Gets her foot planted for three. Can't get it. Diogne the rebound. Right back out to Baker. Dillard to Amir. And the ball will go the other way. KPA with possession again. As Amir gets called for traveling. One Gale gets the ball back. Natalie M. One Gale, second in assist per game with eight and a half. Dribble drive, Reynolds, yes. So Reynolds expands this lead to three, nine to six. Bucket doesn't drop. And here's M1 Gale from deep, can't hit it. Dillard ahead on the pass to Pitts. Great pass into Amir, who draws the foul. So Hager Amir. One of the top players in the tournament so far who gets down the first free throw. 20.2 points per game, that's third. And 11 rebounds per game, that's second. And second best at the free throw line with 85.4%. Two for two of the line was Amir. As Sporting continues to chip away at the lead. Matter of fact, she split the pair of free throws. And Victoria Reynolds will throw in. And Juan Gale down low to Kumu. And Juan Gale for to shoot. And Juan Gale in trouble. Will they be able to put it up? They do. And a Komu. Shot sails right beyond the backboard. The gold medal game here in the inaugural FIBA African Women's Basketball League live from Alexandria, Egypt. Baker driving through the traffic, in deep to Diagne, who can't get the jump hook to go. Here's a chance for a caught, and she banks it right in. Medina caught. Best rebounder in the AWBL with 11.5 per game and 14.5 points per game, which is 10th. Dillard sails in and scores. Sierra Dillard, she outstretched her right hand just like that and was able to sail right in from the right side. Rita Oyango will take care of business and banks it in as well. Back-to-back -back bankers for Kenya Ports Authority as they take a three-point lead. Halfway into the first. Dillard up top to Pitts. Back to Dillard. She tries at a three and gets the three. Sierra Dillard just going off like a firecracker here in the early goings of this game. She ties up the scoring at 13. She has nine points. Dribble drive. In one Gale wanted a foul but will not get it. Pitts. And Baker unable to get it. Dribble, Oyango. Back of the far side, N1 Gale, guarded by Dillard. N1 Gale trying to go to the baseline, and a whistle's called. Now we hear the crowd. You also see it as well. 
It is a packed house at the Alexandria Sporting Club. We get our first substitution of this big game. Hilda Luvanda checks in for Selena Okumu. Sierra Diller, the one with the foul, and KPA's called for the travel. And again, we apologize for the technical difficulties over in Alexandria, Egypt. We're going to rectify the situation as best as we can. And in the meantime, here's what we have missed. Hager Amir made a layup to make it 15-13. to 13. And Okot missed the two. Diagne came up with a rebound, and Amir got another layup, courtesy of Azrar Baker, who got the assist. So four quick points for Hager Amir. And Sporting leads 17-13. to 13. And Kenya Port's authority takes a timeout with three minutes and two seconds remaining in the opening quarter. We'll try to get somebody to fix the feed so all of you fans around the world will be able to watch this incredible gold medal game between Sporting and Kenya Port's authority. We'll be back in just a moment. We return from the Kenya Ports Authority timeout. Belendo Koth checks in for Rita Oyeyango. And Enwan Gali turned the ball over. And Hager Amir was able to get the steal. They are working on the issues in the arena. We have no picture, obviously, and no sound, of course. We're going to try to do our best to keep you up to speed as to what's going on here. Fatu Diagne finally gets a jumper to go. Get her first points of the ball game. Azra Baker made the assist. And that's where we lie right now. 19 to 13 with about two minutes remaining. Akoth missed a jumper as ASC gets a rebound. A couple of subs. For KPA right now, Antoinette Bannister in along with Aminana Semaseku as they replace Victoria Reynolds and Natalie M1 Gali. That's where we're at right now. And there we go. The picture is back. The audio is back. And we are back into place. Sierra Dillard with the ball for three. Unable to hit. Second chance, courtesy of Amir. Pitts up top. Two minutes to go. Pitch driving in from the left. Right outside. No good. To a pushing foul. Sporting with a six-point lead.
They look at Sporting's head coach, Mohamed Aldorahman. The defending champions as Ezra Baker will have a seat. Fatu Diakne with a foul. As her and Akot were fighting for the ball, Norhan Ahmed checks in. In place of Baker. Back into the action as Aminana Samaseku got the inbounds pass. Samaseku gets the ball back. Dillard almost picked it off. And KPA will inbound it from the sides, courtesy of Luvandwa. Okot running out of time. Bannister underneath to Okot. So Okot able to hit. Make it a four-point game. Diogne back out to Amir for three. Yes! Hager Amir able to knock it down. 7 point game. Jumper from the elbow is short. Rebound Dillard. Dillard ahead to Diogne, but couldn't put the clamps down. Semaseku the steal. Belinda Akoth. As Sierra Dillard hits the ground, it appears that Akoth used too much of her, of her body on her way to the basket, and Dillard was able to place herself right around the elbow and absorb the contact. Under a minute left in quarter number one, we thank you for tuning in, and we thank you for being patient as we have been able to resolve the technical glitches in the opening quarter. Sierra Dillard on the pass to Diagne. Unable to hit. Up the floor is Luvanda. Semaseku looking for a screen. Most likely from the left side. She cuts in from the left. Try to give it off, but it's taken away. Too short. And KPA with a chance to get the last shot in the quarter. Semaseku trying to pass it, but it was deflected out of bounds. Six seconds, enough time to get a shot off. APA with the ball and is right back out. Final seconds, Bannister. Can't get it. Will they get another chance? They won't, and that ends the first quarter. Sporting leading the Kenya Ports Authority women's basketball team 22-15 as we head into the break. Second quarter action coming up. This is the gold medal game of the 2023 FIBA African Women's Basketball League.
Welcome back to the Alexandria Sporting Club for the gold medal game of the FIBA Africans Women's Basketball League. Second quarter about to get underway as Sporting leads the Kenya Ports Authority Women's Basketball Team 22 to 15. Aaron Sanders on the call. And there are three scores for KPA with four points, and that's Rito Yango, Medina Caught, and Victoria Reynolds. As they're shooting 46.6%. Not a bad way to start this championship game. And for Sporting, they're shooting 37%, led by Hager Amir and Sierra Dillard, who have nine points apiece. Sporting to start the second quarter. Amir in deep, can't get the fall away. And Dillard with the steal. Dillard looking for Amir. She gets it on the no-looker, but draws the foul. Amir will head to the line. Three of six from the field is Amir. She was able to knock down a three-pointer earlier. She's one of two from there. And has two rebounds, an assist, and a steal. She gets the first one to go. 23-15. Amir remains perfect from the line. 11 points for Hager Amir, 4 of 4 from the charity strike. Semaseku looking for the screen. Drives by. Swallowed up by Amir. It here's Sporting. Dillard going coast to coast and puts it in. Sierra Dillard with her 11th point. It appears that she's matching with her teammate Hager Amir in points. Both of them have 11 apiece. Semaseko looking for help. She's guarded by Reem Musa. One of the tournament's best passers. Reynolds able to save it before it went over the backcourt. Three to shoot. Okumu couldn't get it up. Musa, Dillard outside. Too ambitious on the shot. Didn't get that one to go. All alone is Bannister. Victoria Reynolds on the two. So Reynolds with their sixth point of the match. Spin move from Musa. Musa finding Amir from the corner. Can't get it. APA on the move again. Banker goes for Rita Oyeyango. She averages 8.4 points per game, and she's able to get two more for her troubles. This is a team that's third best in scoring with 81.3 points per game. We have a whistle. As the referees, the officials for tonight's game, quickly conferring, it'll stay with Sporting. This game has been pretty close. Same with the rebounds. Kenya Ports Authority out rebounding Sporting 13 to 10 on the boards. Jumper from Diller. Unable to hit. Two straight misses, but gets a second chance. Diller banks it in. That's 13 points for her. Nine point game. Semuseko on the pass. Amir takes it away. Sporting on a three-on-one. Amir going all the way. And Samuseku takes contact. They're ready for her fifth and sixth free throws and gets the fifth one to go. That makes it 12 points. A lot of changes in Sporting's lineup following that foul as Amir remains perfect. Now on the floor for Sporting along with Amir is Norella Aldalali, Yasin Diop, Reem Musov, and back in the game is Destiny Pitts. 
corner three from Samaseko connects. Aminata Samaseku gets it to go, and now Reem Musa back to Amir for three. Put her there. Hager Amir making it count here in this gold medal game. We have a shootout. The ASC. That fall away banker doesn't hit. Musa the rebound. Musaf jetting up the floor. Diop. And it's Musa. And Sporting not letting up. Which has been the case since the start of this game. Okot thought about the three. Defers it over to Samaseku. Whose three goes too short. As Okot gets the rebound in the putback. Medina Okot. Averaged 14.4 rebounds and nearly 10 points in the 2023 qualifiers. Amir another chance at the three. That's too strong. Samaseku on the chest pass. Dribble drive unsuccessful. It appears that Sporting touched it last. Yassine Diop slapped the ball out of bounds. We see some subs for KPA. Natalie and Wangali checks back in for Samaseku. Loose ball on the floor. So Luvanda will throw it in. We played three minutes. And now we played four minutes. Okot deferred on the fadeaway. Okot for three. Too short. Pitts ahead to Musa. Musa crossing over near the free throw line. Rehan. Nadine Rehan back out to Pitts. Pitts trying to drive. Goes for the three instead. And she hits. She was denied entry right at the top of the key, and she decided to take a step back, create enough separation, and deliver from three-point land. And one golly, driving in from the right with the backdoor pass to a cut. We will have a chance to shoot a pair of free throws. Right after the timeout. 5.02 remaining until halftime. Sporting has a 14 point lead over Kenya Ports Authority. There are three players for Kenya Ports Authority tied and scoring, and that's Medina Okad, Rito Oyango, and Victoria Reynolds. They have six points apiece. Medina Okad looking to get her seventh and eighth points. She is at the line. Three of seven for the field so far. Six points, four rebounds. Gets the first one to go. 
Sierra Dillard and Hager Amir on the bench for Sporting. They are the game's leading scorers. Amir with 16, Dillard with 13. And a caught knocks out both free throws. Destiny Pitts in the backcourt. Breaks the plane over to Musa. Pitts driving in, shoots and scores. Destiny Pitts able to get it down. There's a three shots off for Luvonda. Halfway into the second quarter, sporting with the lead. And it continues with a long triple. As Norella Adalalim gets on the board. And Wangali. Gives it to Reynolds. Misses the floater. Around the back pass, Musov finding an open player, and the teamwork continues as Nadine Rahan able to hit. Now it's back in the hands of N1 Gali, who passes it to Reynolds. Reynolds driving baseline left and takes the foul. More changes coming up. Antoinette Bannister checks in for Victoria Reynolds. Who just drew the foul. A cough back out. And one golly can't get it from three-point land. Musov driving a gorgeous backdoor feed. And it doesn't get any better for Sporting. They are up by 21. Dean Rahan on the bucket. Down low, a cough. Gets the two. Make it 47 28. Yassine Diop through the double team, beats the double team with the J. We get a pass down low and a whistle. So more changes as Rahan is charged with the foul. And it will be sporting ball. They throw it away. Dillard and Amir, the game's leading scorers, check back in for Adelalim and Musa. Under three to go until halftime. A 21-point game. Long bomb doesn't go. And one golly lost her footing, but she was able to recover. Going for a deep pass, in deep, a cut, banks it in. Medina a cut has been the answer for Kenya Port's authority underneath the basket. Dillard catch and shoot three, goes in. The scoring rage continues for Sierra Dillard. Luvonda breaks free, now has to deal with Dillard, who takes it away. Oh, that's a hard foul. An unsportsmanlike foul, which will send De Sierra Dillard to the line. Sierra Dillard holding her wrist off of that steal. So Luvanda with the unsportsmanlike foul following the Dillard steal. 
So Dillard is back at the line. And she continues to knock it down. 17 points for Dillard, 5 of 9 from the field. Three rebounds, a steal. Make that three steals and an assist. Filling up the stat sheet, she misses her first free throw after five tries. She is 5 of 6 from the line to go with her 17 points. Sporting with possession again. Baker back to Dillard. Dillard half spins into Baker rehand call for a traveling sporting the defending champions and they have defended it pretty well if you look at their final scores out of all the games they have played in this Seven month, seven week, seven day tournament. The Newport's authority with the possession again under two minutes until halftime. They need some answers and they need it now. And one golly over to Bannister for three. Too strong. A caught the rebound. Can't get the reverse. It was last touched by KPA and caught the. Try to save the ball, but wasn't successful on that trip. Dillard with the screen from Rehan. And now Rehan gets the ball. Out to Baker for three. And Baker gets her first points of the game. APA avoided a backcourt. Dribble drive down deep and Katha gets close, fires from the elbow, unable to hit. Loose ball on the floor, recovered by Kenya Port's authority. And Bannister unable to find someone underneath. We have another half to go. Plenty of time for KPA to make a comeback. Sporting has been keeping them out of scoring distance as Hager Amir slides in for two. Amir with her 18th point. It was a foul before the shot and one golly Drew the foul. Look at the sporting bench as they're well versed. The two ball goes as KPA gets it. Yasin Diop going coast to coast but can't finish it. Back in the hands of Inwin Gali. And Wangali had it stripped from Diop. Diop in deep to Baker. Unable to get it as the buzzer went off as it was still in the hands of Baker. It was a good effort to wrap up the first half. And Sporting able to capitalize with a 36-point performance in the second quarter to KPA 17 points at the half. It's the Sporting Club, 58 and Kenya Ports Authority, 32. I'm Aaron Sanders. We will be back for coverage of the second half in the gold medal game of the 2023 FIBA Africans Women's Basketball League in just 15 minutes.
Let's take a look at some stats as we are minutes away from the second half. We'll start off with Kenya Port's authority. Their leading scorer is Medina Okot with 10 points, four of nine from the field, along with six rebounds and two steals. And they are shooting 42.4% from the field. They've only had two trips to the free throw line, but they have been perfect over those trips, along with 20 rebounds. They are out rebounding Sporting, who has 18. That's a plus two for Kenya Port's authority. Leading the charge throughout the way for Sporting is Hager Amir. He's having a dynamite game so far with 18 points, three rebounds, and three steals. Right next to her is her teammate Sierra Dillard with 17 points in 15 minutes of play. Sporting shooting 51% from the field, and they had 12 trips to the free throw line in which they have connected on 11. The score... As we're minutes away from the third quarter, Sporting 58, Kenya Ports Authority 32. We'll be back for the third quarter in just a few minutes. This is the gold medal game of the FIBA African Women's Basketball League. Sporting with a 26-point lead over Kenya Port's authority. And KPA has a lot of work to do if they want to make this a ball game for the ages. They were able to upset Reed Women's BBC in the semifinals yesterday. And what fans are deeming a shocker and a stunner. They're going to need a lot of magic in the third quarter to come back as Destiny Pitts gets the scoring to go with the three. Five points for Pitts as Musov takes it away. Musov lost control. And Wangali. Near side, Reynolds back to Nwangali for three. Bounces off. Musov turns on the Jets, goes for a nice feed and gets it into Diagne. So Diagne able to connect. Five straight points for Sporting to get things going here in the second half. Musov with some tough defense in deep to Reynolds. Can't get the jumper. Rebound a caught as she gets swallowed up. So Medina a caught back to the line.
And she misses the first free throw. She was two for two prior to this appearance. Ten points for her, leading scorer for KPA. And drains the second one, 11 points for Medina Okot. Off driving, fires it from the line, too short. KPA ended up with a 3 and 1 record in Group A play. This is what's deemed to be their revenge game against Sporting as they're able to get the jumper down low courtesy of Victoria Reynolds. Destiny Pitts into Amir. Diagne misses it from the line. The fake from Okomu. Try to put it in the 10 but can't get it. Usov, Amir from the top, yes. Hager Amir with one of her dominating performances in the AWBL. Reynolds on the fake and on the kick out. M1 Gali unable to hit from downtown. KPA, a team that usually shoots 42% from the field, is shooting nearly 40% today. And despite having fewer trips to the free throw line, they are over their average at the line. Usually they shoot 63.6%. They're shooting 75. And too much time. Shot clock violation as Selena Okumu did not look up at the clock. Sixty six thirty five is the score. We play two and a half minutes here in the third quarter. Musa. Two passes later, it's into Amir. Amir loses control. Reynolds with the steal. Reynolds ahead to Akumu. Akumu stops. Simaseku gets it. So Aminana Semaseku able to connect. Down on the other end of the floor, sporting. Taking advantage of the numbers game with the layup. As Destiny Pitts gets the easy layup, that jumper is a no-go. Diagne saves it. And it's underneath to Minar Yusuf. Nice finger roll to complete the fast break. Reynolds juking, driving, goes in from the right. Amuku, no. Musov. It's bailed out. And Amir knocks down another triple. Sporting busting the gates open here in the gold medal game. The very first under the new name of this tournament, the African Women's Basketball League. Samaseku connects on the triple. Back-to-back -back triples for both of these clubs. Musov driving. And she's off to the line.
And Musov, the tournament's best assist. Best in assists with 8.7 per game, who shoots 62.5% from the field. And she can't get that one to go. Musov goes one for two at the line. It's now 74 to 40. Pitts in deep to Amir. Yes. The ball movement continues to be key for sporting as they balloon this lead to 36. Reynolds, right elbow. Bufanda can't get it. Rebound Musa. Musa driving in from the right. Out to Amir for three. Too short. And Amir saying, my bad, a little too ambitious on the triple. As Oyango throws it in. Destiny Pitts checks out along with Reem Musa. Dillard and Hamid checks in for Sporting. And Langali driving. Unlucky there. Yango saves it. Back out to Reynolds. Reynolds driving. Spots up and connects. The other end of the floor, 24 against 24. It's Dillard versus Samaseku. Dillard in deep to Diagne. And the scoring has picked up for both of these clubs. And why not? Akoth going for the jumper. Can't get a second chance. Riddle. Reynolds gets it down. And let's see, will Sporting answer the call? And they do not. Amir's shot goes in and out. Oh, that was a close call. One of the KPA players almost knocked it into their own basket. Back the other way we go. Semiseku leans in and tries to go for the finger roll. As they get a foul near the lane. Sporting with an easy lead right now, but credit to KPA, who's been taking care of business underneath the basket. 28 to 24 in rebounds. They're also shooting 40% from the field. And 32 of their points have been from the paint. Free throw goes for Aminata Samoseku. Dillard up the floor. We're live at the Alexandria Sporting Club. Hamid goes for the three. That's too short, too strong off for her favor. Alexandria, Egypt, the place for the final day of the AWBL taken away. Yusuf drives, Euro step, everything can't get it in. The second chance shot goes for Amir. And Amir continues to pile on the points. This is the championship game as Reynolds can't hit it. KPA, who will make their first appearance at the podium in their history. Sporting looking to win back-to-back -back championships. Great ball movement. Hamid from the corner. Hits the top. Reynolds. It appears that she's taking over the game for KPA as they're continuing to look for answers. They are being outscored 22-14 here in the third quarter. 
and faces a large deficit. 34 points, make that 31. As Samaseko gets it from downtown. Ball nearly stripped, and it is. And the layup is blown. The donut missed the coffee on that end as Amir goes for the back door, and they find Yusuf for the layup. High-low passes from start to finish. Luvanda. Okomu. As the crowd's getting into it. Luvanda, seven to shoot. Shot from the corner. No good. No good for Yvonne Okello. As we are at a minute and 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. And sporting a jovial bunch on the bench. Amir driving, gets the step. And she delivers. If there's any guesses as who should be the MVP for this game in this tournament, Hager Amir is a very good candidate and is indicative of that based on that deflection out of bounds. Hager Amir has delivered right from the get-go. 30 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 steals. 10 of 17 from the field as Kenya Port's authority throws it in. Reynolds in deep. Nice fake from Okello, who dishes it right outside. Shots no good for Okumu. Sierra Dillard running the floor. Ahead to Yusuf. Yes. MNR Yusuf with her best scoring performance here in the tournament as she delivers on her seventh point. Semiseku out in the corner, shots no good. Back up is Dillard. Down the floor, Yusuf can't connect again. As Semiseku comes up with the board. That's a foul on Menar Yusuf. Samaseko looking for a screen as she's met by Hamid. One second remaining here in the third quarter. We have another 10 minutes to go here in this gold medal game between Sporting and Kenya Ports Authority. We invite you to tune in to watch the rest of the game along with the trophy presentation and the press conference afterwards. Quick catch and shoot, jumper doesn't go, and that ends the third quarter. Sporting is 10 minutes away from claiming back-to-back -back gold medals, but it would be their first under the new name, the African Women's Basketball League. 87-49 is the score, and we'll continue coverage of this gold medal game in just a few moments.
Welcome back to Alexandria, Egypt. We are here in the fourth quarter, sporting with a commanding lead over Kenya Ports Authority, 87 to 49. Aaron Sanders on the call as Ashwar Baker will play it in. Kenya Ports Authority, no matter how this game goes, should not be disappointed at all. They were able to stun the entire FIBA AWBL tournament by defeating Reach Women BBC, a team that a lot of people thought would make to the finals along with Sporting, but they were able to knock them down right in the bronze medal game, and they did not place in the podium. And Kenya Ports Authority will be the one in the podium this year as Hamid drives inside for two. So there's a lot of positives going in for Kenya Ports Authority despite the deficit they are facing right now. Eighty-nine, forty-nine, and it's stripped by Dillard. Dillard driving, trying to find Hobbit again. She gets the ball, hits the deck. There's been a lot of action from the bench of Sporting since the second half began. We see Norella Aldolalim along with Azra Baker, Sierra Dillard, Gina Hamid, and Nadine Rehan on the floor for Sporting. Hamid down in the corner and picked up her dribble. She's called for a travel. And on the floor for KPA, Antoinette Bannister, Rebecca Nikatha, Yvonne Okello, Belinda Akoth, and Aminata Samaseku who just gave the ball away and got it back. Samuseku. Nkatha trying to go for the pass, and it's taken away by Hamid. Hamid, corner three. That would have made the bench explode on the part of Sporting if she would have knocked that down. And KPA with the ball again. Again, Kenya Ports Authority ended up with a 3-1 record in Group A play. Their only loss against this very sporting team by 25 points to wrap up group play. They were successful against Equity Bank in the quarterfinals as that jumper doesn't go. Floater off the mark. Three ball, Bannister. Unable to hit. Rebound a cough for their third chance. Back out to Bannister. Eight seconds on the 24. Well, that's a foul on Sporting. Back to the scores in the AWBL on the part of KPA. They took care of Equity Bank in the quarterfinals, 81 to 66, and defeated Reach Women BBC. And what's going to go down is one of the huge wins in this tournament history, whether by its old name, the African Champions Cup, or the new name, the AWBL. Three ball doesn't connect. Bannister the rebound. Bannister out to Nkatha. Shots too strong. And yet another chance. This time, Samuseku gets the three. Did they get the three? No, they didn't. A little bit difficult to tell at times. We have another foul on KPA. KPA showing why they are the top rebounding team in the whole tournament. 53.8 rebounds per game. They now have 36, and they're out rebounding Sporting 31. A plus five. Baker with the ball. Baker out deep. Rehan gets the triple. Everybody's clicking on all cylinders here for Sporting as they lead 92 to 49. Sibaseku on the dribble gets the screen from a cut. Bannister driving to the 10, swallowed up as Baker picks it off. Baker driving on the fake in deep. Adalalim 
can't th get the chair drop. Ahead of the floor is Encatho. Three ball. No. He played three minutes here in the four. Musov trying to look for Rayhan, but she couldn't keep her balance. Seiko on the screen, ahead to Bannister. Bannister driving, jumper, doesn't go for Ayango. How about a second chance? Not this time. Rebound Oyango. This, is, this has to be the third or fourth time they are going to capitalize on a third chance opportunity as Sam Seiko goes for the teardrop and draws the foul. The rebounding prowess is there for Kenya Port's authority. Samaseku misses her first free throw tonight. Despite that, she has 13 points, a bulk of them coming here in the second half. 14 points for a 10 from the field. Two rebounds and an assist for Aminana Samaseku. Lusa with the ball. Lusa ahead. And she's called for a travel. And again, apologies for the technical difficulties as we're winding down the moments here in the fourth quarter. While we have this break of play, let's look down some more stats here today. Sporting. Stole the ball 16 times. KPA with five. And again, a link score for KPA is Aminana Samoseku with 14 points. Hager Amir with her best performance for sporting with 30 points and six rebounds along with three steals. She is on the bench right now. As we see Ezra Baker about to hit a pair of free throws. She misses the first. Gerard Baker, three points, six assists. And she misses both. Another rebound. Amir out to Musa. Musa driving, shooting, scoring. Musa with her fifth point of the night. Nice bullet pass into Akello. And that was planned all the way as Akello. Just darted right down to the paint. Musa in deep. Great anticipation from Oyango. We're almost halfway into the fourth quarter. The championship game of the AWBL. The defending champions against the team who for sure will see the podium in the next tournament. But they are making their first appearance in the finals and their first appearance in the podium overall. Basket doesn't go. Ravonna Kello passes it in and gets it back. Sebaseko driving past Musa. 
in Katha. Straight away to Bannister. Bannister tight ropes the baseline, sends it right into Akumu. Misses the layup. Down leap, finger roll doesn't go. Samaseku on the assignment. Samaseku driving, no looker. Shots no good. Baker for three. Rattles around the world and out. Under five minutes here in regulation. A game which pretty much has been in the hands of Sporting since the start. And Musaf comes up with it down the far corner. Darts. She goes all the way. Outside a three. Too strong. Back tapped by Amir. The game's leading scorer as Samaseku picks it up. Samaseku unable to get it right in. 4.09 remaining in the fourth quarter. That foul was not in the act of shooting. Straight away to Okello, who hits the deck. Semaseku wide open, but that shot's no good for Bannister as she hits off the side of the backboard. Ray Musso with eight assists, five points, and two rebounds. And nearly 17 minutes of action. Straight away to Amir. That will be her ninth assist. And that will be Amir's 32nd point of the game. Samuseku just putting the crossover on. Getting some ankles. Basket's no good. And Amir's right down there for the rebound. That's her ninth. She's looking for a double-double for which she averages. Another backdoor feed inside. As Sporting is just putting the clamps down on what could be their second straight championship. Rahan on the bucket. Timeout called by KPA with 326 remaining. Sporting leading 98-52. to Sporting trying to put the clamps down on this gold medal game and put a bow on this as they have a 98-52 lead over Kenya Ports Authority. But KPA is not giving up by any means. They have out-hustled Sporting underneath the basket with 41 rebounds, a plus two in their favor. And the story for them right now is Ami Nata Samuseku with 14 points, Victoria Reynolds 12, and Medina Akat 11. The latter two are on the bench right now. And for Sporting, Hager Amir stole the show. She has 32 points as she will go to the bench after this timeout. A dominating performance for Sporting. And that has been the case since day one of the tournament as Samu Seiko's three doesn't go. Samu Seiko with another chance. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Three-point field goal doesn't connect. Okoth with another rebound.
Rebounding has become second nature for KPA in this tournament, considering they're the top team on the boards with 53.8 a game. You hear the crowd coming alive here at the Sporting Club in Alexandria, Egypt. Gina Hamid trying to break free from the double team. Baker back out to Hamid. Hamid fakes, drives. Rahan again. Rahan in deep. Stolen by a caught who just palms the ball and gives it up. Nice screen from Okello. Samaseku misses the three. Musov up court. Musov, Hamid corner three, put her there. That has to be the dagger as Gina Hamid connects. Two minutes to go. 101 to 52 is the score. The basket doesn't go, and Hamid almost took it away. Foul with 149 left. KPA is 6 of 8 from the free throw line today. As Samuseku hits the line. 3 of 4 from there today. She gets the first free throw to drop. 15 points for Samuseku right now. 4 of 5 from the line. 3 of 9 from 3 point land. For a total of 4 of 14 from field goal range. And she gets both of them to go. 101 to 54. And Sporting can smell it. They are en route to another gold medal as Baker can't get the tray. Here's Bannister from three-point land. Yes. And Antoinette Bannister connecting on her first bucket here in the gold medal game. And Rahan is called for the travel. Again, Sam Oseko is the leading scorer for KPA with 16 points. Sporting bench coming alive. Bannister driving right inside, can't get it. We are in the final minute of the gold medal game of the African Women's Basketball League. Hobbit gets the screen from Adolali. Baker, seven to shoot. Hamid driving in, basket goes. And what a scene this will be once the clock hits zero. KPA will get silver in this, their first podium appearance. And based on how they played this year, it certainly will not be their last. The three-pointer dances around but does not hit home. Stolen away by Bannister who gets an easy two win. 103-59. to Musa will bring it up court and passes it to Baker, who will dribble it out. And now the world knows who the reigning queens are in FIBA Africa, and that's the Sporting Club. Back-to-back -back gold medals. They are the 2023 FIBA AWBL champions.
A scene that Sporting is no stranger to as they pick up their second championship. The first under the new name of the tournament. They won last year under the old name, the African Champions Cup. And now they've made history by clinching the gold medal. And a tournament with a brand new name as they defeat Kenya Ports Authority 103 to 59. And there's no doubt in anyone's mind on who led them along the way. Hager Amir, 32 points, nine rebounds, three steals, one assist, filling up the stat sheet to a T. Averaging a double double throughout the entire tournament. And now the ceremony and the celebration begins in Alexandria, Egypt. But with having home court advantage throughout the entire tournament, I think it's safe to say that it helped them along the way. And there is a whole lot more fans that will share in the joy, the excitement, and the relief. Defending the championship is hard. But the Sporting Club of Alexandria have done it. We're standing by for the award ceremonies. We'll have coverage of that. I'll lead you through the way. And following that, we'll have the press conference. And you'll get reaction from both teams. Stick around. The award ceremony is coming up next. It's all jubilation and smiles at the Alexandria Sporting Club. The home team got it done. And now the hardware will be handed out. Still waiting for the start of the ceremonies. Pandemonium at the Sporting Club in Alexandria, Egypt. 
as Team Sporting Club defeated Kenya Ports Authority 103 to 59. And I have a feeling that this celebration will last for quite a while. As everybody awaits the ceremony, the presentation of the championship and whatnot. And now it's about to get underway. Let's listen in. There's the hardware, and as that old saying goes, to the victor goes the spoils. And KPA, this is an incredible scene. Even though they ended up winning silver, were the finalists. They are still proud. They have kept their heads up high as they made their very first appearance at the podium in the 27 year history of this tournament. A big future for them. As we see the dignitaries of FIBA Africa standing by. Truly a moment for the ages. Sierra Dillard has just symbolized what sports is all about. Even though Sporting Club won the title, she just showed a great example of what a good sport is.
You see the fair play award awarded to CNSS, who had an early exit in this tournament. But nonetheless, gave it their all at the end of the day. CNSS ended up in ninth place in the AWBL this year. And now Destiny Philoxy of Reach Women BBC getting an award and Reach Women BBC lost their chance to go to the podium today after being defeated by Interclub. Sierra Dillard now joining Philoxy. Victoria Reynolds also joining those great players. She ended up with 12 points, four assists, and three rebounds in the gold medal game tonight. And it's only right that Hager Amir joins Destiny and Sierra along with them. Medina caught a part of that too. Ended up with 11 points and 8 rebounds. That is an all-star team if I ever seen one. One of the best players in the inaugural African Women's Basketball League. Medina caught in Destiny Pitts, also getting awards too. An outstanding performance. Coming into today, Destiny was seventh best in scoring with 15 points per game. One of the best performances from the field goal range at 66.7% as she's named the best tri-point player in the tournament. Incidentally, Medina caught averaged a double-double with 14.5 points per game and 11.5 rebounds per game, which topped the tournament in rebounds per game. Destiny Pitts, she had a number of highlight moments in this tournament. I can remember a few days ago where she just caught fire from three-point land in the second quarter, which involved a three for which will be etched into our memories 
She shot a three and started walking to the end of the court following the release. Tiffany Mitchell also honored. And why not? The WNBA player. A terrific outing despite the result that REG Women's BBC did not end up getting. They ended up in fourth place this year. 87.4 points per game. Second best. And Tiffany Mitchell averaged nearly 24 points along with eight rebounds and 4.3 assists per game while shooting 45.2%. The best scorer in the tournament. And there is no debate on that. And it doesn't, does it get any sweeter? It sure does. Sierra Dillard getting her roses. The MVP of the AWBL, Sierra Dillard. Thirteen points, four point six rebounds, seven point four assists, while shooting forty six percent. And there is your AWBL MVP, Sierra Dillard, for sporting. Now, Kenya Port's authority being awarded their silver medals. In this, their very first podium appearance, we'll just let you sit, watch, and enjoy. If you're a fan of KPA or from the Kenyan area, what a moment this has to be for you and your team. A bright future ahead of them. And this is a roster that include Diana Pierre, Natalie Inwangali, Yvonne Okello, Hilda Luvanda, Rebecca Nkatha, Selena Okumu, Medina Okot, Rita Oyango, Belinda Okot, Aminata Samuseku, Victoria Reynolds, and Antoinette Bannister. There are your silver medalists.
And it's all smiles and triumph for the KPA women's basketball team. Their first ever medal in the history of this tournament. And now the moment Alexandria, Egypt, and the Sporting Club have been waiting for. It may feel like the first time, but this time they're able to do it in a back-to-back -back effort. And the players that were able to bring a second gold medal to Alexandria, Egypt, on part of FIBA Africa. Reem Musa, who was a grand wizard on the ball, unselfish, leading the league in assists per game with nearly nine. Destiny Pitts, spotting up from three-point land when it counted. Menar Yusuf. Surprising everybody. Nurala Aldalali showing great presence underneath the basket. Azrar Baker. Boy, does she deliver on a lot of threes. Norhan Ahmed showing a lot of grit and tenacity. Gina Hamid, one of the underrated players in this tournament. She has scored from every area of the floor and was able to help out her team. Yasin Diop, the queen of the breakaway when it counted. Nadine Rehan, she's delivered on a number of great buckets as well. Hager Amir, what else is there to be said? A tremendous performance from her tonight. With 32 points. Back with more of the players in a moment, but first, to the victor goes the spoils. Back-to-back -back champions. That's the Alexandria Sporting Club. Along with those players, Fatu Babu Diagni. Her presence in the paint will not be forgotten. A terrific effort as she averaged nearly a double-double. And the MVP, Sierra Dillard, leading the way. There's your champions for the inaugural African Women's Basketball League. Team Sporting Club. Sparks are flying, so is the confetti. That's flying as well. And home court proved to be key for this terrific team. You know, it's hard to believe that this tournament started last Monday. Eight days ago. Started with 10 teams on the hunt to win the inaugural AWBL title after it being named the African Champions Cup for quite a long time. But the entire staff of FIBA Africa decided that it was time for a change. But the one thing that didn't change was the great competition in this tournament. 
memories to last forever. Team Sporting victorious. After defeating KPA 103 to 59. So mark this date in FIBA history. December 19th, 2023 where the first AWBL champions were crowned. And KPA, one more tip of the cap to them as they win silver for the first time. The celebration continues at the Alexandria Sporting Club. as the Queens of FIBA Africa is once again the Alexandria Sporting Club. We're going to wrap up our coverage here. We don't, I don't know where to begin, but first and foremost, I want to thank the entire broadcasting team who was able to cover this from the opening game right up to now, who were on location at Alexandria, Egypt, and put on an incredible show for you, the viewers, to tune in wherever you may be. An underrated moment would have to be Sierra Dillard congratulating KPA, giving them high fives as they were dancing. There were plenty of good sports, but that was a moment for the ages. For the commentators, Jacinta Govin, James Puvi, and Pumi Ramasoga, along with... Caroline Bullock. They were able to help you guide the way and help paint a picture for you to know what's going on on the very floor, including yours truly. It's been an honor and a privilege to have commentated the gold medal game along with all the games in this 2023 FIBA AWBL. We also want to thank Spock and FIBA for giving us the trust to go on and tell the story of these games for you. And thank you, the fans, for tuning in on what has been a historic tournament under the brand new name. If you didn't know then, you now know that it's the African Women's Basketball League. And we hope that we're able to do it all over again next year. What a privilege, what an honor. So we leave you tonight by congratulating the inaugural AWBL champions, the Sporting Club of Alexandria. They defeated Kenya Ports Authority 103 to 59. And now for this one last time from the Alexandria Sporting Club in Egypt on behalf of everybody, this be Aaron Sanders thanking you so much again. And remember, there are plenty of good sports out there, so you be one too. Thank you again. Have a happy holidays and a happy and prosperous New Year's. So long, everybody. <laughs>